this is really important thing to keep in your medicine cabinet. Hey Rachel, Dr. Jen Cottle here. We are in my bathroom today because I am talking about three things I think are really important for everyone to have in their medicine cabinet. So let's begin with the first one. The first one, believe it or not, is a tape measure. That's right. If you have a wound somewhere, anywhere in your body, you can keep track of the size of the wound by measuring it. You can also communicate with your doctor the size of the wound so that they know, especially since a lot of times we're doing things over telemedicine these days, so it's super important. The other thing is you can keep track of the progress to see if things are improving. Now, one other thing I should say is that tape measures are also good for measuring, oh, waist circumference. Ideally, you wanna be doing this on bare skin. That's important to keep in mind. You wanna find your hip bones and you wanna go just above that to your abdomen, okay? And when you use a tape measure, you wanna make sure that you're putting the tape measure uh, straight across so that it is horizontal. You don't want the tape measure to be twisted or turned or anything like that. That's super important, okay? Uh, and again, on bare skin is ideal. What you wanna do is make sure that it's snug, but that it's not too, too tight. And you want to measure after you've taken a deep breath in and then you breathe out, okay? After you breathe out, that's when you want to take your waist uh, measurement. Waist circumference can be a really important overall indicator or sort of variable when it comes to our health. And the next thing, what else do we need in our medicine cabinet? Well, I say having a pill cutter, oh my gosh, a pill cutter is absolutely a must. They come in different shapes and sizes and things like that, but pill cutters are super important because some people need to cut their medications, either because they need to adjust the dose, um, maybe the pill is too large and they need it to be smaller. Uh, sometimes people do this for cost-saving reasons. What I would always say, and what I always do say, is before you cut any pill, you need to talk to your doctor about if it's okay to cut the pill, because not every pill uh, uh, can or is allowed to be cut. The last thing is a digital thermometer. That's right, this is my very own digital thermometer that I use when I am sick. Um, I recommend you have a digital thermometer as opposed to a mercury thermometer. Mercury is actually very dangerous, so it's not recommended that you keep mercury thermometers at home. This, by the way, is, uh, is an oral thermometer. First thing you wanna do is make sure you wash your hands, which I have, okay? And the next thing I like to do is I get like a little alcohol pad. I keep a few of these at home and uh, I get a little alcohol pad and I like to clean off the thermometer with the alcohol pad just to make sure that it is nice and clean, okay? When you use an oral digital thermometer, what you're gonna do is you're going to put this underneath your tongue, you're gonna close your mouth around the thermometer, uh, you're gonna hit the little button, and you're going to wait until either three minutes uh, goes by or the thermometer actually beeps. So let's give it a try. and we've got our temperature that reads on the thermometer, okay? That is super important, guys. Uh, this is really important thing to keep in your medicine cabinet. 